I really appreciate and thank all of the arm wrestling fans for once again choosing to watch a video on this channel. Today we will discuss the recent Core Sports podcast with Devon Larratt where they went in depth discussing the behind the scenes of the Devon vs Hafthor boxing fight. Devon also gave us some updates about his documentary film, when it is going to be finished and who is going to release it. Engin Terzi gave us some updates about the future East vs West events and looks like Devon is going to defend his 115kg title sooner than we thought. It may be right after the Levan match. Then knuckles up event updates, couple of super matches have been announced. And finally, Ryan Bowen, is he calling out Devon Larratt or what? People are confused about this post that he put out in the arm wrestling community and there is a lot of hate towards him after that. I'll explain why he did that. Don Idris mentioned and Devon also agreed that the doctors were really, really concerned about Devon going into a fight against Hafthor Bjornsson. Because when Devon went for a medical checkup, first of all, he was not really excited to go there. But Don Idris said that no, they are not going to say anything or test anything about the PDs and stuff, you're good to go. It's just a regular checkup. So I think Devon's blood pressure was high. He told the doctors that he has had some concussions before. His arms didn't straighten fully and he had practically almost no boxing experience at all. That's why the doctors said and they told the organizers to immediately stop the fight as soon as Devon was in some kind of visible trouble. That's why after that one hard punch from Hafthor, the fight ended right then and there. And Devon is also happy about that because he agrees that it would have been only worse after that. But surprisingly, later this year or maybe next year, Devon is once again going to have a fight, but this time a jiu-jitsu fight, a similar fight that he had against Juji Mufu, which he won dominantly. So this time again, he will fight at ADCC Abu Dhabi in a jiu-jitsu event. The opponent is not confirmed yet. They were throwing around Bradley Martin's name and Devon is willing to arm wrestle Bradley Martin. So if someone has some kind of connections in the fitness world, let them know that Devon has called out Bradley Martin for a super match. I mean, my bad, I'm thinking about arm wrestling too much. It's not a super match, it's a jiu-jitsu match. So the big thing is that Devon's documentary, as we have already discussed in some of the previous videos as well, has been picked up by Balboa Productions. Yes, this is Sylvester Stellon's production house and that's why they got some more funding and some more time to extend it further. Also, East vs West and King of the Table will be providing and will be willing to help them out with all of the footages that they have of Devon and it is going to really help a lot. Devon also mentioned that Chael Sonnen absolutely loves arm wrestling and Devon even offered him to go to East vs West to witness his Levan Saginashvili match. Chael replied that as of now, he's kind of busy at that time but if he's able to make some time, then he will for sure be attending East vs West 12. These bridges between arm wrestling and fight world are gonna keep opening, I think. These were the famous words from Devon Larratt and I hope it is the case. A Joe Rogan podcast is also definitely due with Devon Larratt. Angin Terzi announced that at East vs West 13 in July, we will be seeing a 115kg right arm world title match. So clearly he didn't mention anything about an interim title or some other new opponents. Yes, I agree, he also didn't take Devon's name in that, but it's kind of understandable that it is going to be Devon who will be defending his title against who I think is going to be David Dadikian because Engin was talking about the possibilities of that match happening previously as well. The other opponent, as some people are guessing, can be Ivan Matyushenko, but I don't think that's the case. We will see Dadikian versus Devon soon. Just like everyone else, I also think that Devon is probably going to be a 95 or 98% favorite against Dadikian. And let's hope he's able to shock Devon at least to some extent by getting one or two pins in that match. And Todd Hutchings is also going to be competing both at East vs West 13 and 14 which is going to be in Orlando, Florida. So these were the updates. Knuckles Up 3 is going to be on May 11th in New Jersey. A couple of matches have already been announced. Mario Tambakis vs Jason Merlo. Jason won his last super match at Knuckles Up 2 against Tom Holland and this one is going to be at 215 pounds weight cap. Bak Seong Yol, who lost against Ryan Bowen at the previous event, is 
is going to be facing Tom Holland, who, as we also discussed earlier, lost against Jason Merlo in the previous match. So I think these both matches are going to be absolutely amazing. And Knuckles Up 4 is going to be on September 14th this same year. Now let's talk about Ryan Bowen's famous or infamous community post. Is he really calling out Devon Lerett next year? What's happening here? In a little over a year's time, I'm 40 and Devon is 50. If I had the hustle strap advantage every round, who wins? 93% people. I would have expected this number to be at least 99% if not 100. So that many people believe that Devon is going to win. So the thing is that yes, Ryan is getting some hate. And most of that is because he mentioned that hustle strap thing as if it is going to matter a lot and it can be a deciding factor. So the real situation here is about three years ago when Devon was with Ryan Bowen, Ryan told Devon that he's going to beat him when they are 40 and 50 years old. So in about three, four years time from that time when he said that to Devon and that time is about to arrive and it looks like things didn't go as Ryan may have wanted them to. And this may sound crazy right now, but around that time, 2020 or something, people were believing that Devon is getting old and he may be on the decline. So that comment from Ryan, although not many people believed it to be accurate even at that time, but it wasn't so far off as it is seeming right now because Devon only got stronger from that point on and maybe only 50% believed that to be the case. So that's the small story behind this. It's not much. It's just a funny post from Ryan. He probably could have mentioned that, that he said this thing three years ago and he wouldn't have gotten so much hate from the arm wrestling community. Thanks for watching. Like the video and subscribe.